There are four service and entry doors. The two doors on the left side of the airplane are usually used for passenger entry and exit. Controls to operate a door are on or near that door. There are four emergency exits, two over each wing. Packed in each service and entry door is an automatically deployed evacuation slide. If properly inflated, an evacuation slide can be useful as a passenger flotation device. An electrically locked cabin door isolates the passenger cabin from the flight deck. The forward and aft doors on the right side of the airplane are usually used to service the cabin and galleys. The forward and aft doors on the left side of the airplane are usually used for passenger entry. Operation of the doors is the same. Let's look at the forward entry door. The door can be operated from inside or outside of the airplane. Pull this handle outward and turn it to open the door. Open the door. As the door unlatches, pressure gates open to equalize cabin and ambient pressure. The door is pulled to the full open position against the airplane body. The door is held open by a latch on the top hinge. The latch is released to close the door. When the door is latched closed, the pressure gates seal the door. This handle opens the door from inside the airplane. There is a viewing window to look for obstructions before you open the door. Open the door. As the handle turns, the door rotates in about 45 degrees. The door is pushed out until it latches in the full open position. The latch is released and the door is pulled in to the 45 degree position. The handle is turned to seal and latch the door. There is an evacuation slide in each service and entry door. The evacuation slide is packed in this compartment. This viewport lets you make a visual inspection of the evacuation slide inflation bottle pressure. Pressure is sufficient if the needle is in the green band. The evacuation slide girt bar is usually stowed in hooks on the door liner. Before taxi, the bar is removed from the hooks and attached to brackets on the floor of the airplane body. A red flag is moved over the door viewing window to warn that the evacuation slide will inflate if the door is opened. Open the door. As the door opens, the evacuation slide is pulled from its compartment. Once clear of the door, the slide inflates very quickly. Open the door. If the evacuation slide does not inflate automatically, you can pull this handle to inflate it manually. As before, the evacuation slide inflates very quickly. The evacuation slide is not certified to be part of the water landing emergency equipment, but if properly inflated, it can be useful as a passenger flotation device. Hand grips are along the sides of the slide. In a water environment, 
an evacuation slide may not always inflate. If this happens and the exit is blocked, you can detach the evacuation slide from the airplane. First, lift this flap, then pull this handle. Two escape exits are installed above each wing. The exits can be opened from inside or outside of the airplane with a handle at the top of the exit panel. This handle opens the exit from the cabin. This new exit opens very easily. When you pull the handle, strong actuators push the door up. The plug type exit opens down and out before it moves up. If the flight deck receives a door annunciation for an automatic overwing exit, it is advised that flight attendants not attempt to position the door handle closed. A strap is attached to the exit frame and is in view when the exit is opened. The strap is pulled out and attached to the top surface of the wing. The strap can then be used as a handhold during an evacuation of the cabin. Passengers slide down the flaps to get off the wing. Tactile locators are two raised knobs placed on the front of the overhead bins and located at each automatic overwing exit. In case of low visibility and for the visually impaired, these locators let flight attendants and passengers know when they have reached an exit. An electrically locked cabin door isolates the passenger cabin from the flight deck. A key is used to open the door from the passenger cabin. If a sudden depressurization of the flight deck occurs, three blowout panels open to allow air pressure in the passenger cabin and flight deck to equalize. In an emergency, the upper blowout panel is removed to escape from the flight deck. Lights on a door annunciator panel alert the crew when a door is not correctly closed and latched. If a forward or aft entry door is not latched, the forward entry or aft entry door open light illuminates. The applicable overwing exit open light illuminates if the forward or aft left or right overwing emergency exit is not latched. If an equipment access door is not latched, the equipment door open light illuminates. The forward cargo or aft cargo door open light illuminates if a forward or aft cargo compartment door is not latched. If a forward or aft service door is not latched, the forward service or aft service door open light illuminates. When a door open light illuminates, the door's system annunciator and master caution lights also illuminate. Before you taxi, make sure all door annunciator lights are extinguished. A cabin door lock switch is on the control stand. Lock the cabin door. When the switch is pushed, the cabin door locks and the cab door unlocked light extinguishes.